morning, family. What's up with it? Hold on. <clears throat> wow. Um, good morning. It is the 20th of January. It's a little after 8 in the a.m. And I have come on to do uh, a video for my girl, Miss Jada Peekett. Jada, <clears throat> now hold on. I got to do it like I do the rest of my videos now. Give me a minute because me and you got to discuss some things. But first, I got to clear the room because see, sometimes people come in, you know, they ain't really ready for the type of videos that I do. Now, see, let me tell you about the videos I do. <clears throat> I goes all in, okay? I goes all in, and it's just my personality. It's just how I get down. I'm I'm not psychotic. I don't drink. This is coffee right here. Folgers with a little uh, vanilla caramel, uh, two to three spoons of sugar. That's what I'm on right now. Now, <clears throat> now, uh, and a little sativa. Let me just go and say that right now. You know what I'm saying? So I took my medication, my card in my purse, and this is how I get down. This is just what's happening, okay? Now, but I got to clear the room a little bit because there's sometimes church members, you know what I'm saying? They'll come in, you know, some holier than vows will come in. Some, I really don't, I can't stand that bitch, but I got to watch this motherfucker anyway. Some of them come on in. Uh, so I have to filter the room, if you will. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna need Patricia, Wilma, Barbara Ann, Clyde, Augustine, Billy, and Joe. I'm gonna need all y'all to go ahead on and y'all start walking that motherfucking way. Now go and get him a, a two piece in the biscuit on their way out, cause they ain't gonna be able to handle this on today. Okay? Let them motherfuckers through. Yeah, let them yeah, I know she a little wild. Let her on through. Let her, let her out. Okay. Now while they're entering um, you know, the safe zone and they over there handling them. Now we about to do us. So all these niggas that like to clown, get down on brown, throw a little one up in the air, come back up on in this motherfucker. We got some shit to discuss today. And we getting ready to have a conversation with no other than Miss Jada Pinkett. So I want y'all to show y'all love. <clears throat> now, Jada, <clears throat> girl, listen. September 10th, 1971, Holler. Virgo through and through. DNA say V, all that. The coldest bitch on the wheel. I'm one of them too, so I understand exactly where the fuck you coming from. Honestly, I do. Now, Jada, listen. <clears throat> now, me too. I got married in the 90s. I got married in 94. Gave that nigga over 20. You understand what I'm saying? I married a thousand year though. Now, you know, so then therefore that put me in a different category than some, but not in your category. You understand what I'm saying? As far as friends at the bank is what I'm saying. Okay? So, there are certain people that could relate to certain things that I be going through. And there's certain things that I do and how I get down. Then there are some people that cannot relate to some of the things that I do and this and that and that and that and that. So, people can only respond and react to their level of vision. You know what I'm saying? So, then therefore, you know, as a Virgo mama... And with your type of lifestyle, you can't be calling on boycotts and shit. You know what I mean? You can't be... Listen, Jada, you cannot get the rallying up motherfuckers. Because, uh, first of all, Tisha Campbell, Nicole, Vivica... Uh, damn, excuse me, Vivica. You know I love you. But I had to throw you in now. Uh, Vivica, <clears throat> old girl that used to be in... What's the name of that? Uh, the group back in the day, Total. She married that nigga or whatever. Okay, her... We, uh, both Vanessa's, you know what I'm saying? And Vanessa Bell Calloway, and then a, it was another Vanessa's. Well, all of them, they ain't gonna be able to rally behind your motherfucking ass on some boycott and shit. Especially when them motherfuckers are still trying to get a Colgate commercial or something. You know what I'm saying? Now, what you talking about is, fuck the Oscars, fuck the... I got where you at, though, because... I didn't watch the movie that your husband was in. Now, I done seen the rest of the motherfuckers, but I ain't seen that one yet. I'm just going to go and tell you that part. 
Now, one thing about me, I am 100 on girl code. So, uh, you know, I won't be disrespectful and be like, you know, your husband is whoop whoop. Everybody already know it. And you are equally boop da bop boop boop. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't come in and say, you know, your husband this and that. It's just girl code thing. I don't even know you like that. But still, I ain't going to go that deep, you know. But, <coughs> excuse me. The bottom line is, you know, you came on this motherfucker. She was like, shit, I got something to say. Fuck it. Um, I'm going to need one of y'all to cut this motherfucking camera on. Cell phone, whatever you got. You got a galaxy. Okay, no problem. Bring that motherfucker right here. I'm going to sit right here where I'm at. I'm chilling and wash my hair and shit. You know what I'm saying? And clean shit out, moisturize. Um, I'm going to just need you to uh hold this motherfucking camera right quick because I got some shit to say around this motherfucker. And did you not say it? Uh, I will not be attending. Basically, uh, hubby won't be going neither. You know what I mean? But, Chris Rock, what is everybody wanting him to do? Because it's not like that motherfucker can really say, you know what, fuck it, I ain't gonna do it. Nah, I ain't gonna... You already know they tallying up that nigga money right now, how much he gotta pay every month. So do you really think he finna just say, fuck all this right here and he still gotta make money in this town? He can't do it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't already, low key, I think they planned it the way they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? They made the executive, what you call it, she going to be the one. We're going to need her to go up here to the panel and say who's the nominee and all this other kind of shit. They could have did this shit months back. You know what I'm saying? To have us out here looking crazy. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> they probably said a long time ago, oh, why don't you come out and you, you know what I'm saying? You be a presenter this year gassed her ass up, had her thinking, you know, you know what, I could, you know what, I did just get a makeover and shit, you know what, I will go on out there, you know what I'm saying, do the nominees and shit, now we don't need to call Applegate and none of them motherfuckers, I'm gonna go on out here and do this right here, you know what, I, I, I look good and shit, I'm gonna do this thing, they probably set her ass up, even though she's the exact whoop whoop, they probably set her ass up, crisp ass probably got set up, you know, because they was like, okay, well, look, this is what the fuck we gonna do. We finna surprise all these motherfuckers. We ain't finna put not now one of these motherfuckers on the ballot. We ain't finna put not down of these motherfuckers. Fuck N.W.A., fuck all that shit. We ain't, I don't give a fuck about none of them. Idris, all these motherfuckers, all them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? We ain't finna do nothing. But what we are gonna do is we need to get us a black host. But we need a comedian because a comedian going to come in with that poetic license. They can, a poetic license means, you know, you can come in as an actor or a comedian or whatever and say some crazy shit and motherfuckers just chalk it up as entertainment. They're not looking at you as, okay, you really being serious on what the fuck you're saying. They're like, okay, well, you know what? We can't really take him serious. You know, he's an actor. You know, he's a comedian. So we're going to just let him have that. So, but... Eddie Murphy ain't trying to fuck with us. We didn't already try to kiss his ass two or three times. That nigga said fuck it. So we're not going to do him. But, uh, um, and Kevin Hart, that nigga's a little bit too over the top for us right now. We're going to need him to calm down just a little bit before, you know, we get to having him, you know what I'm saying, hosting Oscars and things. Like he can go over there and fuck with BET. Now, we cool with that. You know what I'm saying? They can do the Dougie and all that shit. But we ain't finna allow this motherfucker to come on up in here. You know what I'm saying? With Matt Damon and all these motherfuckers. Nah, he ain't ready for that yet. But we will get Chris Rock, though. We will get him because he's a crossover to where he can still, you know what I'm saying? He's going to satisfy what we're looking for. So, months back, they asked him, knew that he was going through this and all this right here with wifey, babies, and all this other kind of shit, divorcee, all that old type of shit going on. They know he needed the money. So, then therefore, okay, let's get him the host. Let's pump up the exec and have her go out there and do the nominations. And we're going to fuck it up by not nominating these motherfuckers for a goddamn thing. We ain't even got the janitor on this motherfucker nominated for that. Do you understand me? They ain't, they ain't looked at our motherfucking asses at all. They was like, shit, who are you? We don't see you. What is that? Oh, okay. No, oh, excuse me, because here come, oh, Okay, this is the funniest girl in America. I can't think of her name right now. I got a boyfriend right now. They show this motherfucker all day long. And, you know, but it's okay. Hey, I can't really make too many motherfucking statements either, Jada. 
I can't either. You know what I'm saying? I still got to make some money in this motherfucking town as well. So it's not like I can really say, fuck them motherfuckers like I really want to. You know what I mean? Now, Snoop, <clears throat> Snoop went on. He let them have it too. That nigga just said, fuck it. Let me go and hit this blunt and uh, tell these motherfuckers what time it is. Fuck the Oscars. Fuck the this. Fuck the that. Hell, motherfucker, no, I ain't going. All that shit. Do all them beeps. I knew exactly what that nigga was saying. I was like, oh, I hear you, brother. Well, then shit, hell, since ain't nobody about to do nothing, J.D., y'all got a compound. Why don't y'all have a house party around this motherfucker and everybody come and shit? You know what I'm saying? Shit, you done told everybody not to go? You ain't, well, you didn't tell us not to go, but you just bowed out, which I understood. But, you know, you was like, basically, you know, this is what's happening on this. Now, <coughs> Spike Lee, he had some shit to say, which I understand. At this point in time, you know what I'm saying, he got, you know, he got decent change, you know what I'm saying, he got residual money coming, plus they made him an honoree, so now he ain't really in that fight no more to kind of, you know, to finally get that Oscar, you know what I'm saying, to be, you know, recognized by these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, so see, he ain't on that shit either, so he don't give a fuck no more, so now he can say whatever the fuck he wanna say. But you ain't seen Jennifer Hudson, Jamie Foxx. Now, Jamie Foxx done pulled the motherfucker out of a burning car the other night. But that motherfucker said, look, I ain't got nothing to say about nothing. My daughter gonna be the one that's gonna be passing this shit out, though. Ain't that something? So they done put all the... They got the niggas in there as the help. Ain't that a bitch? Now, Jamie Foxx's daughter is Miss Oscar this year. She's gonna hand out the little... You know what I'm saying? Hand out the awards and shit. You know what I'm saying? We got the executive producer. She black as a motherfucker. So, you know, we got her out here. She didn't already said who's going to be here today. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got this funny looking motherfucker standing up here from New Jack City ass nigga. We got this motherfucker up here and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, can you pour it in my hand for 15 cent ass nigga? Yeah. That motherfucker. So, um, <clears throat> I think it was a setup, low key. Jada. I think it was a setup. You know, Virgos, we're going to tell it like it is. And we some analytical motherfuckers anyway. So let, let me just go ahead on and put my own spin on it. I think it's been a motherfucking setup. Real shit. Real shit. Y'all better think about this motherfucking shit and be like, you know what? She might be on to some shit. Because, yeah, look at this motherfucking shit. But, but Jada, <clears throat> everybody can't come out there, though. You know what I'm saying? And do what you do and say it like how you said it because... You know, you married to a motherfucker that got a gang of money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got your own little production company, little thing, and y'all doing y'all own thing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can circulate money and still make money. Motherfuckers that still out here just trying, you know, trying to get on, they can't come in and talk about these motherfuckers like you just did. They can't. You see motherfucking aunt, what, aunt whatever, came in and she, she was trying to, you know what I'm saying, say some shit. A uh, girlfriend, let me tell you, a honey boo boo, or whatever she said, which I didn't, you know, I didn't seen it a few times, and I can't really quote her verbatim because I was like, you know, I'ma respect some elder type shit. That's what I'm on, because the thing is, if she played Auntie Whoop Whoop, I'm still looking at you as Auntie Whoop Whoop, even though, you know, that was just, uh, um, you know, some, some, you know, that's with, with some acting shit, but still. For her to have played that, you kind of look at her as a little, you know, a woman of a particular age at this point in time. And so, you know, she is to be respected, in my opinion. But all I'm going to say, you know, I, I see she wanted to throw you in and shit because she mad at whatever contract didn't go through right when when her husband, when your husband was working with her over here on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and shit. But mama... All I'm going to say to you, I respect what, I respect you back in that day, and I still respect you today, mama, but all I'm saying is, okay, well, after that was over with, how come you wasn't in the motherfucking Color Purple and motherfucking Brewster's Place and all these mother all the shit that came off after that? How come Tyler ain't put you in the diary of a married black woman and all this old kind of shit? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you was ki you know, killing it that tough, you know what I mean, and you was that much of an actress and your, your skill was that sharpened, then therefore, goddamn, how come you wasn't in, a, a, you know, some of this shit, the girlfriends and, you know what I'm saying, and all this other shit that been jumping off? I ain't seen you in a long motherfucking time. So when, when you came on and had this shit to say, it was like you had a bone to pick with Jada, and Jada ain't the one that really did it. I don't know, I don't know how the shit popped off. Really don't care. But all I'm saying is you got you mad at her for what? Now I don't know the history, but once again, motherfuckers can't really deal with Virgos and motherfuckers will really get jealous and salty. 
Now, you done married this motherfucker, regardless to how y'all shit be, everybody shit be off and on, twisted back, curled up, all that old type of shit. Mine was too, so fuck it. You know what I mean? But all I'm saying is, you know, hey, to each his motherfucking own. Apparently, he loves you, you love him, whatever. And uh, let's keep it pushing. Let's raise these motherfucking kids. And, uh, nigga, I take the West Wing, nigga. You got the East. You know what I'm saying? I've been that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I've been that motherfucker. I wasn't on no old uh, the Housewives or Poto Mac or Photo Mac or whatever the shit it is. This new one that just came out, Housewives. And, nigga, we, I can't be mad at you and still give you some pussy at the end of the night. I ain't going to be able to do it. Now, me and my husband, when we was living in the same motherfucking house after we done decided that, that nigga, I'm through... Um, nigga, you ain't getting no more pussy, don't ask for none. So, all this still sleeping in the same bed kind of shit, I don't even understand that shit because I can't disconnect that way. I'm just saying, that's just me. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> anyway, Jada, I just wanted to say that I do support what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, we got fucked over. We did. But, you know, we can't be having motherfuckers making... Lifelong decisions, you know what I'm saying, and, and and motherfuckers is getting blackballed out out you know out the system. Cause see, there's only you know what Tyler Perry, you know we got Oprah, you know real motherfuckers that's able to really put some motherfuckers on and really you know do some us type shit, you know. And I'm certain there's more besides them two, but them the two motherfuckers that come to mind based on these motherfucking substance I'm under, you know what I mean. So, but still, they can't hire everybody. You know what I'm saying? And not one motherfucking time have I seen good deeds of any of them motherfuckers, you know, nominated for some shit besides an image award. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, and I don't, I don't mean that on no shade shit. Let me just go on and say that because he's a Virgo just like our motherfucking asses. So, I'm on his page. You know what I'm saying? She, what, Tyler, holla. I'm on Tyler motherfucking page. You know what I'm saying? She, what, you, huh. Yeah. Taraji, all our motherfucking asses is Virgos, so we kind of be on the same motherfucking get down. So, yeah, I see you on all of that, but Taraji and none of the motherfuckers gonna really be able to be up there and gonna be on some old fuck the Oscar type shit, you know, and especially say it, you know, just overtly, you know what I mean? Just put it out there, fuck them motherfuckers, fuck them, and you still got a show and shit that got, you know what I'm saying, that's about to come back on in a minute. They can't do that, mama. They can't do that. See, you set damn near for the rest of your motherfucking life, son and shit. You know, this motherfucker on some Louis Vuitton shit nowadays. I ain't mad at none of that shit. Your daughter, you know what I'm saying, whipping hair back and forth or whatever going on with that. You know what I'm saying? But hell, regardless to the fact you handling your motherfucking business right or wrong, ain't, hey, hey, look, mama, I'm on your side. I'm with you. But just know that a lot of people are too, but a lot of people can't fuck up their money. That's all I'm going to say about that. How at your motherfucking partner. Come through when you need to. Love you, girl. Love you for watching. Deuces. Holla. Bye.